show you how to make a barn set of cookies. Here are all the cutters I used for this set. This is actually a haunted house cutter from the big set of Wilton cutters you can find at Walmart. I didn't have a barn so I decided to use this and I modified it. I just put it on the rolled out cookie dough like this and then I used a butter knife to shape the top of it into a roof that looked like a barn roof. These I got from Ann Clark cookie cutters and these I got from bakeale.com. So I'm starting with the hen and I'm going to start out showing you how fast I really decorate. A lot of times when you watch time lapse videos of cookie decorating it makes it look like it's real quick and then it's you think maybe you should it shouldn't be taking you so long to decorate cookies but it is a process you want to be careful with it and you want to make sure your lines are straight so it does take time so this is how fast it normally takes me to decorate a lot of this video today I'm going to be speeding up so you can follow along with what I'm doing but not have to sit through hours of decorating So I just have two consistencies of icing here, outline consistency and flooding consistency. You'll see I like to flood leaving a little margin between the flood and the outline because I have a problem with overflowing my cookies. So I try to most of the time flood leaving a little bit of edge there so that I won't overflow the cookie. You can always drag the icing to the edge if you need to. So this yellow that I'm using and then the red that I'll be using next, they're a little thicker than um, flood icing and then not quite as thick as outline icing. Some people call it a plud. So it's like in between and it's a good consistency for flooding small details. If you need a royal icing recipe, check out the video above. I also have a video for good easy sugar cookie recipe to get you started. Alright now I'm going to add the wing. Again this is outline icing and then I'm going to fill it with flood consistency. So one way to help prevent the icing from cratering on smaller details like this is to make sure you add a detail like this wing before the bottom layer is completely dry. Alright, now here I'm using an icing pen. Um, whenever you add details with a pen like this, you want to make sure that the icing is completely dry so that the pen doesn't break through the icing. Okay, moving on to a little yellow chip. Of course, you can use any combination of any brand farm animal cookie cutters you want. This is just, these are just the ones that I used, and if you need a place to get started, you can use the same ones I used. So from here on, I'm just going to speed these videos up like six or eight times so you can follow along and see how I'm doing things, but not have to sit here forever. So this next technique I'm going to do on this little chick to make, to give him a little bit of a fuzzy-like texture is you put some sort of thick icing over the dried flood. Make sure it's completely dry so it doesn't break through. And then you just take a piece of a paper towel or napkin or you can use a paintbrush and you just dab, 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 dab the icing. And the more you dab, the more of that little fuzzy like texture you'll get. It just helps some animals look kind of cool. I'm going to do this on the mouse too, you'll see later. So the little birthday guy that these cookies were for, his mom told me that he really loves cows, but I didn't have a cow cookie cutter, so I just decided to make his age number cookie into the cow.
So you see for this pig later I gave him black spots. I did not intend on making this a pig with spots, but I made a couple mistakes and that was the only way I could think of to cover it up. So, when you make a mistake when you're decorating cookies, don't worry about it. There's almost always a way to fix it. And like I said earlier in the video, I used a haunted house to make a barn since I didn't have a barn cookie cutter. If you get a last minute order and you don't have time to go get a cookie cutter, just look through your cookie cutters. You'll, you're sure to find one that you can turn into whatever you need it to be. And even if not, you can always use like a circle or a square and do any design on a circle or a square. So when I'm thinking of how to design a cookie, usually what I do is, like for this rooster, I just googled rooster clip art and that brought up all kinds of different clip art of roosters that I could get some ideas from. Here I just took a paintbrush with a little bit of ice, flood icing on it and painted that cookie so just to give this barn window um, a, like a three-dimensional effect. And there you have it. These are gluten-free cookies, by the way. Thanks for watching.